Hello students, welcome to Sorosa's classes. In this video, I will be solving the following question from ISS 2017, paper 4. Now, here we have to describe the intersensal and postsensal estimates of population growth. Now, first, let's define the intersensal estimates. Now, in demographics, this intersensal estimates, it is an estimate of population. It is an estimate of population of population between official census dates between between official census dates with both the census counts being known with both the census counts counts being known so this intercensal estimates they are the estimates of population between two official census dates between two official census census dates with both the census counts being known while the post census estimates they are based on they are these estimates are based on these estimate these estimates of population population are based on prior census based on the prior census the most usually the most recent one most recent one so for example the 2011 2011 post 2011 post census estimate post census estimate this would be based on based on 2000 census so between these two population estimates that is between intercensal and postcensal population estimates the intercensal estimates they are considered to be more appropriate or more accurate they are considered to be more accurate because these intercensal estimates they approximated they are approximated between two dates with exact figure being known and being considered factual so they are more accurate because they are approximated they are approximated approximated between two dates with exact figure between two dates with exact figure which are considered as factual which are known and so which are known and considered as factual so which are known and 
considered factual so due to this this intersensual estimates they are considered or they are more accurate than the postsensual estimates as this intersensual estimates they are approximated between two dates with exact figure being known and considered and being considered factual now the production of intersensual estimates it involves two basic steps the production production of intersensual estimates intersensual estimates it involves two basic steps the first one is calculation of the error of closure calculation of the error of closure and next is the linear distribution of the error of closure according to the number of days between intersensual years so next is the linear distribution linear distribution of the error of closure error of closure according to according to the number of days between intersensual years number of days number of days between intersensual years intersensual years and for the post sensual estimates the population accounting system population accounting system system is used to produce post sensual estimates post sensual estimates so this population accounting system this is used to produce post sensual estimates where modifications are made to the current census population where modification are made to the current census population population adjusted for cnu which stands for census net under coverage census net under coverage so for post sensual estimate the population accounting system is used to produce them where the modifications so this post sensual accounting system is used to produce post sensual estimates where modifications are made to the current census population adjusted for cnu that is census net under coverage so this population so this modifications are made to the current census population adjusted for cnu or to 
or to the most recent estimate most recent estimate by adding and subtracting adding and subtracting the components of demographic growth the components of demographic growth demographic growth that occur between July 1 and the release date of the estimate demographic growth that occur between July 1 and the reference date of the estimate so this intercensal and postcensal estimates they are the two types of population estimates where the intercensal estimates are the estimates of population between the two census states whereas the postcensal estimates they are estimated on the basis of the prior the prior census usually the most recent one